Yarnaby. 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 I've seen you before, haven't I? Uh. Mm, no, no. Oh, I think this is where. I yeah, that. No, no. Oh, me. Hmm. Uh, not really. Ah, perfect. That's right. Ah! Oh, so we go down an elevator just like doors. Hold on a second. If you listen real closely, you can hear the exact moment Poppy throws Kissy under the bus. Alrighty, the red Zaza gas isn't going anywhere in this chapter. And neither are we. Give me that Zaza. Where is it? I need it. Hold on a second. In the last chapter, didn't we make the gas go from the right to the left? And the left is where the vault door elevator thing that takes us down here is. Therefore, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> the hunter is being hunted. This looks like a scene out of Alien vs Predator, man. And why does our character model look like one of those thumb guys from that one thumb movie? <laughs> oh, I saw that. We've got a grab pack hand. Red Zaza gas and poodle. What did they do to my dearly beloved dog? Painting unicorn. Smiling critter. You gotta have your handy dandy barbed wire in case any children get down here and get lost. Get back here, boy! I saw that poodle! One thing's for sure, this guy ain't seen nothing. Okay, we're in the red Zaza realm now. Wait a minute, these are those prison cells we see in the Steam screenshots. Oh no, they're filling all the rooms with Zaza. Hey, it's my boy. Oh, but who actually is that? Literally nobody's safe here. All right, just, just one more time. How good is that squish? I lied, I'm a liar. That squish just sounds so good. It's the Forbidden Poodle! Why does it look so cute? Ah, uh, it's the redesign. They're just going more for a brutalist, communist aesthetic. Oh no, what did they do to my boy? Um... One of the... Smiling... What have you done? Oh, oh, somebody's unlocked their third eye. But seriously, what did they do to this guy? They gave my boy Zika virus, man. Oh, I've seen this before. It's, it's simple, guys. This is how you deal with it. So when you see the eyeball, all you gotta do is focus on making sure you don't get hit by any of the um, obstacles. So you gotta crouch here, quickly go right, ignore the eyeballs on the walls. They're gonna keep on appearing. A good piece of advice is following the guiding light. It's that blue light. Oh, in these hands, they're nothing. They're, they're just an extension of the eyeballs guy. And he's really scared of doors. Just don't let him in. It's fine. No, but seriously, whose eye is this? And is this going to be some, 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 kind of, some, some kind of security camera during the chapter that's going to be watching us at all times? Okay. All right. Oh. Hello there. Ah, oh. Greetings to you too. Now hear me out. It's actually got a really narrow throat. Like we're good, we're not gonna get swallowed whole. We're just, we might get bit, like, I think it's got brittle teeth. Some of those teeth are broken. It's actually got a lot of saliva. We can just slip straight out. We won't even go down his throat, it's too narrow. <laughs> now if it had the diameter of this throat, we'd be pretty... <laughs> But honestly though, I think all we need to do is get Quinn on our side. If you guys didn't know, that's this thing's real name. Quinn Davidson. All we have to do is befriend it. Doesn't it just have a loyal face to it? 
I personally think we can trust it. I think you guys are overreacting. I mean, it's probably full anyway. Look at all the blood in its mouth. It's been eating good. It's fine. I'll tell you what we really need to worry about. Freaking this guy. He's ready to ruin our lives. This eyeball thing is definitely a security camera because the second we stand in front of it, it changes from black and white to red and that looks pretty alert to me. I still don't understand how they infected inanimate objects with rabies. And also, did you guys notice that it doesn't have a voice? It just has a radio static sound effect. Yeah, that's, this thing can't talk. Bet it can swallow though. So it's confirmed now that it's a toy lion of yarn. Yarn to be. And it walks on all fours. This artwork is actually really, really cool. But it reminds me of something. Also, it bugs me how it only has three teeth and not four. I need the symmetry in my life. So to summarize, Yarnaby was a young orphan named Quinn Navidson. It was chosen, I mean, he was chosen to be Experiment 1166. He was hiding his true cap capabilities because he didn't want to get chomped up. And once he showed his true intellect, Harley Sawyer turned him into this. I actually just realized this image is in one of those prison cells. Gosh darn it, we let him out. Yarnaby! So one thing I don't completely understand is whether that's actually us going down here in the trailer. We obviously hear Poppy say kissy, so this is happening after the events of, you know, kissy getting killed. But we go down the elevator with Poppy right by our side. And she's nowhere to be seen here. And on top of that, the character in this video has a grab pack hand like our character. And if there was any question whether this is the same elevator that goes down, it definitely is because you can see the vault door at the first second. Another thing that I pointed out before was did this place not have any red gas flow going into it until we did what we did in chapter 3. Nothing about this trailer actually tells us whether the red gas being in this area is good or not, but Ollie made us do it. Also, it seems there's a weird complex surveillance system down here. The CCTV cameras are working. They are being fed to monitors, so someone is watching them. But this eyeball surveillance system is also happening at the same time, which seems to be seeing us through the screen, which is a bit weird. To be fair, this could be just an extension of the prototypes. A Algamation? And also, since Quinn has been down here alone for so long, who is Quinn loyal to now? And most importantly, what their mouth do? So many questions and no answers. Anyway, sorry for the late reaction fam, I was really sick last week. I think I may have been burnt out. But that's okay, we're back in action this week. So if you're excited for Yarnaby, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, or else this guy will get you tonight. Ah!